everybody uh, i don't know why i decided to sing but welcome back to day two of vlogtober day two second day um this weekend kind of started off on a really weird path because i feel like um the weather just kind of limited all the itinerary i had planned look i feel like people need to be conscious of the fact that vlogtober is literally so difficult because it literally is a month of creating content every single day and i also want to infuse a lot of vlogs because that's essentially what vlogtober is about without obviously forgetting that i can create other types of content which i do plan to do it's just that i feel like with vlogtober i really just wanted to focus on the emphasis of vlogtober which is vlogging a lot and giving you guys real-time content right and i also vlog in real time so there will be days where i'll create sit down videos to kind of bypass that whole vlogging in real time but yeah that's pretty much what's going on this weekend has actually been so tiring so lazy just just so lazy I've been sitting in the house the whole day doing nothing but today is saturday and i decided that i would go get my second vaccine shots um i got my first one i think a couple, uh i think a little over a month ago when they said that obviously eight, 35 years to 18 or whatever i can go get the vaccine shots so i'm gonna go there today because i have nothing better to do initially i wanted to go and go to the store buy some stuff for the house buy that uh, thing for the plug but then I'm just like, I'm lazy. I wish I, had, I wish I had a PA or someone who could do all the stuff for me because I'm so lazy right now. But anyway, I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm just worried that when I get to the vaccination site, I might not be able to vlog whilst I'm in there. So the vlog might kind of just be a little bit janky. But um, I'm, I really just want to go get my second dose and. I don't know just kind of come back hang in a little bit and i also got a delivery and i want to show you guys oh my goodness i'm so excited i got the cutest delivery that i've ever received in a hot ass minute and this is from nomzamo but her brand is called luxo emporium so i want to show you what it looks like right guys look at what she sent me she literally sent me like a hundred roses a hundred roses okay and let me just show you guys what she obviously sent to me inside i wanted to do like a sit down um review which i probably will do later okay so this is she sent me a diffuser so this is a luxury emporium a premium diffuser oil which is right here i'll open that in a little bit and then she sent me perfume so this is luxury emporium oud Ooh, wow, wow, I'm so excited and then this is Luxor Emporium Elegant so I've never I haven't smelled these yet but this is what she sent me and then she also sent me Nomzamo is your, your, your guys the packaging is insanity honestly she sent me a bottle of red wine oh this is so nice guys you know what you know what and the 100 roses was for the 100,000 subscribers. So I want to thank her so much. Um, I'm really like, honestly, Nomzama, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Like you've made my weekend that much more special. And I literally have to put these in water, but I don't have a face paint up. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to set up my diffuser when I come back because I'm really, really big on diffusers. I love diffusers. If I don't have a diffuser in the house, I start to, you know, get the shakes because it's like it starts to smell like normal air. Ew. And then I'll probably just do a review of the perfumes when I come back. I just want to go get my vaccination shot and then perhaps maybe grab lunch on the way because I'm going to go all the way to the Galaga. My dad keeps forcing me to go all the way to the Galaga. I don't know why. So that's what I'm going to do now. And then when I come back, we'll definitely unpack these and kind of give you guys like a scent test if that's what i call it so yeah let me go and i'll talk to you guys, guys i was about to leave but oh i just oh my goodness i just smelled nomzamo's diffuser oh it smells so good and look at everything look at the packaging look at how regal everything looks it's like in black and it, it just it looks good oh my goodness i cannot wait to have this in my videos because 
okay i might need to buy like maybe two three more of this because i'm addicted to diffusers i don't know how nomzama only thought i'd survive off one but you know what i i, I get it it smells it smells like really expensive perfume with just a touch of freshness but a lot of like yo oh thank god it's not that vanilla ugly stuff and then she sent me a, a perfume an oud perfume oh my goodness yo guys and it's even got my name okay this is definitely my my type 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 Goodness. <gasps> Even this one has got a lady M at the back. Oh no, I take it back. I know I take it back. Elegance is my favorite. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna put some on now because <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all playing with me if you think I ain't gonna put this on. I'm gonna put in elegant. Um, that's the one that I really like the smell. I'm gonna put this one on because oh oh mmm mmm Mm, yeah, let's go. Okay. Oh, Nomzamo. Oh. Who do you? <coughs> okay, I breathed into that. But who? I smell like a million bucks. You are so rich. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a scent test to see how long it lasts. I'm gonna leave it here in the house because normally I. I abuse perfumes I normally want to like have them on all day when it's not necessary so I'm gonna keep a chat at the house and then tell you guys if I can still smell it within like the next hour or two so let's go I smell good like even my car is just filled with the scent of the Luxo, Luxo Emporium Elegant Yo, I smell good. Yo, I smell so good I even want to go to my boyfriend's house and just say, smell me, my nigga. Come at me. Come at me, bro. Come at me. I smell good. I know I do. I'm currently in the car now. And I'm headed to the Galaga. Because I really think the Galaga... Look, I, I can honestly kind of um, think it anywhere else. But my dad is so insistent that I go to a Discovery Vaccine Center. And I don't know why. But my dad is just pedantic about stupid things, you know. I mean, parents are pedantic about stupid things. So I'm going, I'm going there now. And um, I'll, I'll tell you this For all the times that I thought my dad was acting irrational or, out of, like, or you know he's taking things to the extreme It's gotten me out of a lot of trouble So I'm just gonna take his word for it and go to the Gallagher But somebody sent me a message the other day And asked me Hey lady, you know You work so hard and everything is starting to align But they noticed that In a lot of my vlogs I, I value being alone a lot and like what's that about you know so i think someone asked me a really important question someone said something like my mom is smiling down on me and it hurt me because i finally achieved everything that i wanted to in this year which i'm really grateful for don't get me wrong i'm super grateful for it i'm super grateful for the brands who have trusted me with their brand and their image and everything of that nature but I'm just really sad that the one person who I know would have been so proud of me is not here to kind of see it. And yes, that person hasn't been here for, for many, many years now. But I don't know if that makes it better or worse. Because, you know, I've gotten to even become a woman and learn lessons that maybe I would have... Maybe I would have gotten myself out of certain situations if I just had someone who could have told me what to do. You know what I mean? Oh, Nomzamo's perfume is even going into my nostrils. You know, you know it's fucking good and strong when, when it even changes your sinuses and then your eyes start like tearing up. But um, yeah, I'm just at a point where I know who who the people in my corner are. I know who my friends are. I know who I need to protect. I know who I need to stay away from. But it just hasn't been easy because. I've just kind of isolated from everything and everyone like I'm so money and career focused and I mean it's a good thing but in certain instances I never really get to enjoy the moment you know what I mean so like yes I got paid this, this week and it was, it was amazing to see in my bank account like that it was so amazing but it was also like yes I'd love to celebrate I'm feeling really good but also 
do I really want to go celebrate with people that I felt like have effed me over many, 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 many times before? No, I don't want to do that. So, yeah, I've just been kind of getting back to the friendships that really matter to me, the friendships that I really value, um, and the people that I really love and adore, you know, just focusing on them rather, and just being by myself, just kind of finding myself centering myself grounding myself not letting this this moment in my life be the deciding factor of like what gets to happen because you know a lot of people once they reach this moment they plateau they they become so so clout obsessed and so money obsessed that once they think they've reached the pinnacle they stop working and it's always sad to see because it's like you had so much potential to grow and go further and yet you took one moment one particular moment that you thought was like everlasting and you didn't work on making that moment your whole moment you understand so like once you start making lots of money you have to make more money so that the other money that you make can stay in your bank accounts you understand what i'm saying like i know there's a really bad analogy but my point is we've even seen it in south african celebrity culture where south african celebrities or south african musicians who make it who have so much potential to grow and then they let that clout and that fame get to them and then next minute and you're just like but but we were we were rooting for you we were all rooting for you yeah when i when i when i say that i really think of babes <laughs> i was rooting for babes guys yo babes babes, babes was my baby like yo i was babes number one fan so that's pretty much where i am from a mental point of view um i don't want to let this one moment cloud the, the 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 moves that i'm trying to make which will last me years to come if i just do that correctly so that's where i am right now but other than that yeah i've just been so lonely guys you know drake was really he wasn't lying when he said it's lonely at the top i mean i'm not at the top but it's still lonely even in the middle like you start to realize that people don't really like you you start to realize that people subtweet you on twitter you start to realize that people when when you're being called out and when it's your downfall people actually key key in the background if they've been enjoying you being in that negative space and you're just like but what the fuck so man just just be careful guys you remember that story i told you guys of cruella you know initially i never wanted to tell that story because you know you you never want to give someone that you dislike airtime but also in the same breath it was a lesson because like anybody else i've been effed over by friends that i thought i would never get effed over by you understand and i never got apologies or anything like that for that and that shit it sat and it irked me for years because i'm someone who generally holds grudges so i had to learn forgiveness to someone who didn't want to be forgiven and now i've just gotten to a point where i'm like if this friendship doesn't work i'm not going to do anything to pursue it i'm really sorry i'm not going to like if, if 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 as friends we have a disagreement and we can't come together and say you know what let's take accountability for the part where we were both wrong then i can't pursue any sort of relationship with you with a platonic um um with a you know romantic nothing i can't i just i can't i'm, I'm at a point where i've been hurt so much that the 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 lack of accountability does more damage to me it does more damage to me because it really awakens the traumas that i've worked so hard to 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 you know get rid of i've worked so hard to detach from those traumas so if if to you hurting me and then still having an excuse and saying yeah but 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 then but for take but for take that's that's my answer that's it and that's that's where i stand so yeah I just want to be a vessel for what's right and on my channel I never want to delude people I never want to create false imagery and false realities of what we're really living in when that's not the case I don't want to lie and make it seem like my life is perfect when that's not the case I don't want to lie and make it seem like I don't have friendship issues when that is not the case I'm human I have all these issues and I want you guys to know that the same way you guys are dealing with them i'm also dealing with them i'm also human but you guys have been like a healing component for me so i also have to do the same and be the healing component for you so yeah without really rambling too much about that then you know that was a lot of ramble i'm just gonna drive and head to the galaga but i really hope the sun doesn't shine i'm not in the mood for the sun to shine really honestly no thanks Okay. 
Hey guys, so I just got here. Um, I'm gonna step in now and go get my second jab. I probably won't be able to record for obvious reasons and people obviously want to maintain their privacy but I'll talk to you guys as soon as I'm done. Probably will take videos with my phone so I'll show you guys the process on this vlog but I'll talk to you guys shortly. to go eat by myself because oh i've my invited God. everybody and everybody's too fucking busy so i decided f everybody i'm gonna do it myself i get that i get that you wanna come what are you what are you doing I can't. okay guys so i just got my vaccination my second vax so now you know vax girls well why are we up <laughs> i can feel like a different woman i feel free <laughs> <laughs> yo guys, yo, 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 guys, I don't have a life, eh? Hey? One thing about me, I'm gonna tell you right now while it's still early. I am such a loser. It surprises me how you guys wanna be friends with me so bad because let like right now I'm headed to lunch by myself to go eat by myself and joke by myself and be happy by my damn self, okay? But yeah guys, I'm so glad that I got the second vaccination. I do feel like certain parts of me feel more relieved yes i think we were very scared we were very worried about what this vaccination meant and a lot, there were a lot of conspiracy theories but after my first jab i still felt good so that's why i just decided i'm gonna do my second one so after i have lunch at daruma because i really want like a glass of wine and yeah i know i know i know i know i know i know please i want a glass of wine and i really want like their egg fried rice and i really want like their veggies and after that i'm just probably gonna head home and we are probably gonna wait for Senzo to come through because Senzo's coming through to see me. Yo, I just saw a car that belonged to my ex and I got the craziest PTSD. Like, you know, it's funny because my last relationship, the one that I was in for five years, it, it, it destroyed me a lot, ne? but I've rebuilt from that pain. But every single time I see a trigger, my mind just goes blank. My mind goes blank and I have to think back to every single thing that had happened and even in certain situations I feel like I can't remember parts of his face. Oh god, someone died. You understand? But it also feels like a trigger. Like every time I see something that reminds me of him, my, my mind will go into a state of shock. It's just like I, I don't know whether to be angry, happy, upset, confused. Damn man, heartbreak will really mess with you, hey? Yo, breakups and heartbreak will really mess with you But especially heartbreak in a toxic environment You know, it's one thing to get your heart broken And break up with someone Because things really aren't working It's another thing when there's so much toxicity And so much types of abuse that It's bad But anyway, I'm here at a Waterfall Corner That's where the rumor is So I'm gonna have lunch by myself And we're gonna go home Because that's what we do in Blocktober When we're losers That's what we do Oh God. We are here, we're here. Okay, so now I'm gonna head in and have lunch for one and then I'm just gonna go home because there's absolutely nothing else that I can do and because my life sucks and it doesn't just suck, it sucks balls and it sucks the entire clitoris, so <laughs> bro. I'm here at the rumor guys and um, all I want is a egg bomb. That's really all I want right now. And they fried rice. So amen. Same. I think I think I'm gonna go all out and spoiling myself because men don't spoil me. So I'm gonna get oysters and I'm gonna get everything that I want to eat right now at this point in time. Oh wait, let me send let me send my friend money. Thank you. 
Bye guys. She's my favorite actress in real life. You come and ask me here. She loves me more than you guys love me. But anyway, you know what? I actually want to have what I normally have, ne? Okay. And then I want to have lamb chops and corns. Yeah, only lamb chops and corns because I don't want anything else. local supermarkets and this is my first time vlogging here because they have no idea what I do for a living so I'm about to show them what I actually do for a living do you know I can't 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 I can I please have two mega mints and two gummon mints and two coconut coal? So guys, my husband is here and he calls me coconut coal. He says, hi coconuts. Where's my husband? I am not here. Where is he today? And I bought the camera for him. Two mega mints. No, actually you can make it three mega mints. Two gummon mints. And then two coconut coal. So yeah guys, I'm gonna buy flavor and then I'm going back home. And you guys can obviously see that my vlog obviously ends here. Ah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why are you showing like What do you that? mean? No, I don't know what is this. <laughs> it's my video, I told you. Guys, this is my husband. He calls me oh. Coconut Coal. Hello, <laughs> Coconut Coal. <laughs> you have to, you have to learn my name today. I've already shown him. You have to learn my name today. No it's Naledi. Say it with me. Naledi. Yes. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. His hair is original. No, it's original, but I haven't stuck it down. <laughs> yes, he's my husband, guys. He he says hi, coconuts. Yes, but today, yes. today he saw the camera. He didn't know what to do. He's shy, yes. Yeah, I can see you shy. Eh? But she's very good, very good, my friend, favorite friend. Potential her wife. Potential I wife. I might be his wife. Yeah. Okay, let me go home, guys. Uh, I've shown you guys where I get my coal, my flavor. Now I'm gonna go home because Sanzo's on his way here, and we're probably gonna have like a girls' night in with wine. <sighs> oh my god! And everything else. So let me go. Sans, yeah, yeah that I'm not Yo, get up. Now you watch the square soccer.